This is Keisha here at TradeWithResolve.com and this will be a tutorial video on the Ninja Trader platform. Are you new to the channel or interested in platform tutorials, learning basic trading terminology, or viewing live day trades, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Next, let's get into the most exciting aspect of the platform, which is how to place trades. So you can place trades by utilizing the Superdome or you can use the Chart Trader. I personally like using the Chart Trader. To access the Chart Trader, you can come up here to the top and select Chart Trader. So now we have the ability to place orders right within the same window of our chart. So let's discuss the ATM strategy option here. So ATM stands for Advanced Trade Management, and that's going to allow you to place a target exit price and a stop loss price once you enter into a trade. Let's go ahead and set up an ATM strategy. So you can head over to Custom. And let's say we are only interested in purchasing one contract. And the parameter type, let's go by ticks. And let's say we would like our stop loss price to be 20 ticks and our profit target to be 20 ticks as well. And you can go ahead and save as template. All right, so let's save this as test three save and okay so now we have our test three strategy so let's say we would like to take a short position right now we can simply select sell market and we can manipulate our trade plan so we can manipulate our stop loss and our target exit price here so simply click on the buy limit and drag it to the price that you would like to take a profit at. And then your stop loss price, which is in red, you can click on it and drag it to the location where you would like your stop loss to be. So again, the ATM strategy allows you to enter your stop loss and target exit price. And you're able to see your trade plan very clearly here on the chart. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and exit this position. Again, I'm not <laughs> attempting to make any money. This is a demo account. But before I exit the position, take a look at this. So we can see our P&L, the ticks, and the number of points that we are up or down on a given position. So I am currently down $315, $300, $300, $300. And then you can see the corresponding number of ticks and points. So let's say we want to get stopped out. I'm just going to move this down. Let's see if we can get stopped out of the trade here. And there we go. Our stop loss was filled. And so let's say we forgot to select an ATM strategy. So let's say we logged into the platform and we forgot to select an ATM strategy. Let's say we wanted to take a long position, for example, we're just going to buy market. So as you can see, we don't have the ability to enter a target exit price and a stop loss price because we did not select an ATM strategy. So how do you go about adding an ATM strategy after you have already entered into a trade? What you can do is you can go down to the positions window, right click the instrument and select apply ATM strategy. So let's say we want to go with test number three and there we go. Our ATM strategy is now in place and we can alter the target exit price and the stop loss price. So let's say we want to place our target exit price up here and let's see which direction it's going to go. Again, this is just a random trade here. And again, you simply click on the limit order and drag and drop it to the location for your target exit along with your stop loss price. All 
All right. So let's go ahead and exit this position. I'm just going to select close here. So we are now out of the trade. And you can see here I'm down $665 on this demo account. So you can see how volatile the futures market can be. That's why it's so important to make sure that you enter in an ATM strategy so that you can enter a stop loss and a target exit price. Now let's say you are interested in trading two contracts with two target exit prices. So let's set up an ATM strategy with multiple target exit prices. So let's go to custom. This time we're going to change order quantity to two. We're gonna leave the parameter type at ticks. So for target one, let's say we want the stop loss price to be 30 ticks and the profit to be 30 ticks. And then you can select add. So now we can have two targets. So we, we already selected a total of two contracts here. So target one will have a stop loss of 30 ticks and a profit of 30 ticks. And then target two will have a stop loss of 30 ticks and a profit of let's say 45 ticks for example. Now we can say save as template and we can name this one two targets for example and save and then select OK. So now let's say we want to take a short position and we want to have two target exit prices. So we already selected our ATM of two targets. Now let's sell market. So now you see we have one stop loss order to sell both contracts. And then we have two limit orders to exit the position at two locations. So we selected two target exit prices and one stop loss price. And then again, you can manipulate your orders right here within the chart, which is really nice to be able to do. So you can see here, NQ is extremely volatile. <laughs> We're getting quite a bounce here. And again, you can see your PL ticks and points listed here on the right hand side. All right, so let's go ahead and close out of this position. All right, so let's take another trade here. Let's go for a short and we already have our ATM strategy selected and we are now in the trade. Now we have one stop loss price and then multiple target exit prices here. So let's say we want to move our first target at that location and then our second target here. And you can see here if you scroll down you can see how much you are expected to make. So for target number one, we are expected to make $345. At target number two, we are expected to make $555 or 56 ticks or 14 points. So you can see the price is starting to decline here. So target number one was filled. Let's see if target two can be filled. I'm gonna just move it up. And we're getting a little bit of a bounce here. I'll move it up again just for this video. Let's see if we can get filled. Going for 45 ticks here. All right, and the second target has been met as well. So we are all out of the trade. So as you can see, all of the orders that were on the chart have now disappeared because the two target exit prices were executed. So this is known as an OCO order. One cancels the other. If the stop loss would have been triggered, the two target exits would have been canceled. 
if the two targets were filled, the stop loss would be canceled so that you have no remaining orders. All right, so let's say you would like to place an entry beforehand. Maybe you can't stay at your computer at the moment. So what you can do is, let's say you would like to short at this location. You can right click on the chart and then select sell limit at this price. So now we have a pending order. And once we are executed, the ATM strategy will be activated. And you'll be able to see your stop loss and target exit prices here on the screen. So let's move this down so we can get filled. Also, whenever an order is blue, it means it has not been executed. Let's chase the price a bit here. Looking for a fill here. Okay, there we go. Our order was filled and now you can see our ATM strategy was activated. Let's say we'd like to move our target exit price up a bit here. So target one was hit and let's just move this target up for the purpose of this video. And we're getting a little bit of a bounce here. Let's say we would like to exit the position immediately. You can just select close. All right, so we took a short opportunity without immediately utilizing the ATM strategy. Let's say you would like to take a long position, but right now NQ is not trading at the level that you would like to take a long position at. You can right click the chart and select buy stop market. So now you can see we have a buy stop order for two contracts at 39.50. So let's move this down. Let's see if we can get filled here. So notice the ATM strategy has not been activated yet because our order has not been filled. We're trying to take a long position at 32.25. You can see here on the Superdome. Okay, we are now in the trade. And now you can see we have a stop loss down here for two contracts and then again two target exit prices. Let's see if we can get filled here on the long side. Let's manipulate this a bit here. Again, you can see we're going for a $100 profit on the first contract. Let's see if we can get a push higher. And we are going against the trend here, <laughs> clearly. And there we go, our stop loss was filled. So that is how you can place orders by using the chart trader. You can also manipulate your orders on the Superdome as well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.